Good morning, this is Sean. Thank you so much for clicking onto my channel. So hit that like button, subscribe, and tell a friend about me. So I am going to do this video and I am just gonna say up front that I am sure I am going to get some backlash. I don't feel that it's going to be warranted, but I do realize that people right now are in their emotions and that's okay. I do hope that when, if you can listen to the video in its entirety, you will understand where I'm coming from. So, I, I really considered doing this video with a lot of trepidation because I know how people like to react and respond and essentially attack the messenger and not listen to the message. So I really hope that the message is taken with respect because I'm saying it out of respect. I'm saying with a lot of um, care and consideration and my choice of words. So there has been video uh, of a YouTuber and regarding um, T.S. Madison and I put in my post this is a PSA because I am someone if you are new to my channel or you just found me through scrolling um, I do believe in teachable moments and it's not so much what I see people do it's what I try to get a lesson out of the situation because I'm not one to talk about youtubers because we're all colleagues but obviously when you see something you should point it out and again like I said I believe in teachable moments so a uh, youtuber made a video about T.S. Madison T.S. Madison was in her car and she does these videos all the time regarding um, things she experienced a lot of times it's funny a lot of times it's just anecdotal a lot of times it's just harmless fun stuff and um, she made a comment about going to the bathroom, just getting ready to go pee, and that she saw the biggest pad she's ever seen in her life. And then um, she pans the camera onto a woman saying that it probably belonged to her. Now, people are in an uproar. One, because the one YouTuber, Michelle Brown, talked about it and we don't need to go on about that she is the she's part of the problematic situation but again she made her own personal opinions about it and she got a lot of backlash I don't want to talk about that because it's it's not the teachable moment my teachable moment is TS Madison you are highly insensitive and the reason why I'm cautious is because there seems to be an agenda that is going on with women, biological women and transgendered women. And it seems as though I'm a heterosexual biological woman and I am supposed to have society has told me that I I need to have a certain level of sensitivity to dr the transgender community to the transgendered women uh, transgendered women are demanding it rightfully so because all people demand and should have dignity and respect but it doesn't seem as though we're getting the same amount of respect in return. And I, I am saying this in response to, I saw quite a few videos of, of people on her side and people that were against her. And people are talking about should transgender women be in the bathrooms and it's bringing back that conversation up because that was a hot button topic last year um, or the year before last because uh, uh, President Barack Obama had an executive ordinance about uh, bathrooms and transgender people being able to use bathrooms that they identify with. So that has now brought that that comment, that video has brought up that conversation. That's not my question. My question is, 
does T.S. Madison have the right to talk about women's issues when she is handicapped by being a transgendered woman? I'm going to say this a different way. Because T.S. Madison is living her life as a woman, does she get the right to comment about another woman's situation that she will never understand or experience? Because she is living her life as a woman, identifying her, her life as a woman, but her experience as a woman only goes so far. And does she have the right to talk about things that we know as a biological woman she will never experience? You know, it's kind of like that analogy. Uh, you know, me and my sis can talk about my sis, but you can't talk about my sis even though we grew up all our lives together. Like, you can only go so far and then you cross the line. And I really think at this point where you was just trying to crack a joke and be funny because we know when she does these car vlogs, she's just trying to be funny. But in the funny, you were highly insensitive. Now, I will just tell you where my appall thing, and I'm saying this, T.S. Madison, if you see this video, I don't know if you will, you may have decided all you ladies need to kick rocks and that, that's how you feel. Okay, I'm saying this with an amount of respect and level of sensitivity that I feel that you did not give that woman. And I will say this because you will not experience what a lot of us women experience to our detriment and to our horror, okay? Because you don't know what that lady may have been going through at the time, okay? Now, I saw the video. I tried to find the video so that I could see if it was in its full context because I realized that, you know, the video may have been taken out of context, but I couldn't find it. So I'm only going by the video that Michelle Brown had. Now, you said that there was a, the biggest pad you've ever seen. You was just going to the bathroom to pee and you saw the biggest pad you ever seen. Now, it didn't say that it was messed up, but okay, we're in a women's bathroom. Many of us have seen things like that. We see tampons, we see pads, we see them, okay? And the fact that you said it was the biggest pad you've ever seen, okay, pads come in all sizes. My thing is that your level of sensitivity to that woman's plight you didn't you didn't you didn't have it for her you you made a situation funny and for many of us who experience issues with our cycles there is nothing funny about it at all and I'm just gonna make a stretch where well, maybe you need to know a little bit more about women and what we go through other than lashes and front laces because if that's the biggest pad you ever saw, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a stretch. Maybe that was a medical issue. You don't know. Maybe that woman just experienced a miscarriage. Maybe that woman just had an abortion and she now has um, the biggest pad you ever saw. Because when you go to the doctor and you get a procedure, they give you the biggest pad you'll ever have because you're bleeding a lot. Maybe this woman just had fibroids removed and she's been given the biggest pad you've ever saw. M maybe this woman, uh, her, her cycles are changing and she has to find the biggest pad because she's had an accident. So you'll never know that. And there, there, there's, you'll never know that. Now there's nothing worse Universally, or well, women understand that there's nothing worse than being on a trip or being on a plane and you realize, oh my God, oh my God. And now you got to figure out how you are going to get yourself together and clean up because while you're cramped in a place like driving, you're bleeding or you're having one of these, these, these big massive clots coming out. This video ain't for kids, okay? And now you've gotta figure out 
the next place that you can go and take care of yourself. These are real issues. Maybe this woman has a prolapsed uterus. Do you know what that is? That is when your, 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 your uterus just falls, like it just falls and now it's coming out of your vagina. And a lot of women have to take their finger and push it back in. That's a serious issue. It's a medical issue that a lot of women, so you know what women will do? They will put a pad and to, to, until they can figure out how to fix themselves. I had, a, I had a surgical procedure not too long ago. Six weeks. Six weeks of recovery. Not fun. It's not fun when you are going through perimenopause and you go to bed and you wake up the next morning or in the middle of the night and your bed looks like a CSI crime scene. Okay? Because your body's changing. And if you have a partner, most of us, most of us are very sensitive about that. We don't want our partner to see us in that way. And we go through great lengths to conceal when we're on our cycle. When we put, you know, we put our, our feminine products away and, 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 and dispose of them discreetly. Most of us try to deal with our biological issues discreetly, but sometimes our body messes us up and therein lies the lack of insensitivity and then how dare you how dare you then pan the camera on to that unsuspecting woman that you have no idea what she may or may have not gone through you don't know if it was her and if it was her why would you do that to another woman See, you're a woman and you want us to have sensitivity to you as a woman, but you didn't give that woman any dignity or respect about something that she might be going through. And that was horrible. I was horrified when I saw that. That wasn't nice. That wasn't, that wasn't dealing with someone with dignity and respect, but yet you want us to deal with you and your communi community with dignity and respect. Stop. That, that's not cool. Not cool at all. So, I think my teachable moment, that's what I'm trying to say, is that, listen, I like you, T.S. Madison. I really do. And then I was watching uh, Bianca Brooks' video that she had with a gentleman talking about this issue. And the gentleman said, you reacted like a man would. A man said that. He said, you can do all the things, but you reacted like a man. And I was like, huh. Now, I don't want to put that on you because I'm not you. But I am a woman, and the same amount of horror that I have towards you is the same amount of horror that I would have towards another woman, because I don't feel that you are sensitive. Now you don't you don't get to play both sides. You can't say you need to treat me as a woman. I am a woman, and 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 all that, but yet not give another woman respect publicly. Now that might have been kitchen table talk, but you took kitchen table talk and put it out for the masses. And that's not cool. And if you want us to respect you as a woman, then you need to respect us and what we go through as women because that's not something you'll ever experience. Just like there are things that you will experience that I will never understand, but yet I'm supposed to have respect and dignity and sensitivity towards you. So again, I don't know T.S. Madison if you're going to see this video. If you do understand that I say this with love and care and consideration. But please, if you're going to do something like that, please give it a second thought. Please, because there are a lot of women whose quality of life is affected with their cycles. And that's no laughing matter. So take care of yourself and each other. And I'll talk to you soon.